Hi everyone and welcome for this uh, new tutorial about how to paint a grey chin. Um, first of all, uh, happy new year to everyone and as you can see I'm going to uh, do uh, the um, translation in English for every one of my uh, new video. So they are going to come every Sunday one brand new uh, video tutorial about how to paint something new uh, i'm going to create uh, some special tutorial only for my patreon so if you want to push and to increase your level more than uh, on the video you already uh, see uh, that's possible just go to patreon to support me thanks to everyone and let's go for the paint the model is uh, primed in um, um, military green uh, from army painter and now I start uh, by pushing some uh, black color on all the uh, non-metallic metal parts and all detail like teeth and uh, some, some different details. As you can see, I try to have a, um, a very uh, diluted color uh, to be more easy to push with my brush. I use the side of my brush to push the color in the direction I need. After that, I'm going to add some uh, red garants uh, into some uh, detail of the face uh, with a big, big, uh, with a very, very important dilution. I put this uh, all around. Uh, uh, noise, uh, ace, and front of the face. I'm going to push a little bit my highlights uh, on the green skin. After that, I continue to base, uh, to put my basic color on the different elements, directly uh, with some uh, snake bit laser or something similar, a little bit uh, yellow brown to have some different color. I push again my wash, my uh, red wash on the face and on some small parts and now I'm going to uh, so I use uh, multi closes uh, for color from my first highlight on all my uh, green skin it's very important at this moment to tap your color you don't with army painter color you don't really need to to have a very uh, big ability to make some transition because the cov the covering uh, capacity of the color is not very important so you just have to push and tap a little bit to create your transition i come back with some shade so uh, this ink uh, this is a military shader from army painter and I'm going to push into all my uh, skin to create my first shadow there is a um, result when this ink is totally dry And now I come back with some multi uh, closes on all the green skin parts to push my highlights once again. I focus my highlights on all the zone who take light. 
I'm going to push more highlight on the green steam by mixing some jungle green and some uh, moldy clothes to have some uh, green more covering and I step by step I'm going to reach a smaller and smaller part and step by step on my highlight I'm going to use only um, only jungle green so now I come back with some uh, um, German uniform from uh, Prince August and I'm going to push my shadow in the very very uh, small part more I'm going to paint less I'm going to reach surfaces once again I come back on some very small parts with my dark sea blue color to push once again my uh, shadow always remember that the the video is uh, is uh, accelerate so uh, take your time to push your color in the good direction with a good movement that's very very important i come back with my jungle green as i explained before and push once again my highlights on the green skin Now I'm going to mix uh, some white into my jungle green uh, to have a very covering color and to put some uh, la my last highlights for the green skin. So I come back with some full green, uh, green uh, pink uh, to push my highlight on all the color of skin I already uh, wash with some red. And I come back with some red again to have better transition and to push more uh, red at the end of the noise. Now I start my non-metallic metal just by using uh, some uh, uniform grey on the gun and the, and the sword. As you can see I push and I uh, push every edges uh, with a very clear line of grey. Always use uh, the side of your brush to be sure uh, to have a perfectly clean line. As you can see, I come back on the back too with some grey and after that I'm, I will come back with some white directly to push more and more my contrast. The key for a good non-metallic metal is the contrast. Come back once again with some white and push once again my highlights on every edges to create my contrast. The contrast makes the non-metallic metal possible.
vais aussi venir avec du noir évidemment pour marquer encore plus les, les contrastes et les euh, différentes démarcations de sorte à avoir un rendu toujours toujours plus net et plus contrasté sur mon nom métallique ça va être aussi l'occasion de revenir sur les damiers si j'ai besoin de reclarifier de recliner certaines zones et, euh, et ainsi de suite donc toujours pareil hein, le noir étant très couvrant il ne faudra surtout pas hésiter à finalement bien le diluer pour passer des filtres légers successifs J'hésite pas à revenir un petit peu avec du blanc pour remarquer encore, encore certains damiers que j'ai pu estomper précédemment. Donc faut vraiment pas imaginer que les damiers ou ce genre de petites choses se fassent en une fois. Mais il va falloir les faire, les corriger, les reprendre. Il faudra pas hésiter à faire pas mal d'allers-retours sur ce genre de, de petites pièces. I come back with a strong tone from Army Painter to push um, an ink into all my laser part to have my uh, um, to have an, uh, first shadow effect uh, very quickly. And I come back with my basic color, my snake bits leather, uh, to push the first highlight directly on the leather. I'm not going to put this color everywhere, but as you can see on the parts I I see first when I look the miniatures. I come back with a dry brush uh, brush um, to uh, brush with some gray all the base to be sure uh, to have all um, gray everywhere on the base. And after that, I'm going to make the same things but by adding some white into my uh, mix and uh, focus on the uh, the extremity the um, uh, extremity of the base after this step i'm going to add uh, some wash uh, with um, a flat earth uh, color i push this color into the recesses to be sure to have something very very uh, brown and after that into this uh, brown I'm going to put a little bit more um, orange so you can use some troll uh, orange from uh, Games Workshop or uh, there are any kind of orange who are very intensive because when we are going to dilute them that's going to lose a little bit intensity and now I come back with some uh, matte white to push one more time uh, and everywhere I need uh, my um, highlights And here is the results. Um, thanks for watching this video tutorial. I really uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, sorry again for my English, but step after step, I will uh, increase my uh, level. Uh, don't hesitate to support me uh, by liking this video, uh, by subscribe to the channel, or by, soutening, uh, by support myself on um, Patreon. Thanks again and see you uh, next Sunday for a new painting tutorial. Take time to paint!